Wall painting is our oldest art. Cave paintings goes way back. Man's been doing it a long time. I am an itinerant artist, muralist, performance artist as well. And I travel around the country and I paint murals. And I am painting a mural for, I guess, a gift is to the city. It's become uh, where it's a mural project and, you know, that is the brainchild of downtown Springfield Incorporated. It was pre-Lincoln's birthday and I was sitting in that bench over there with next to the st statue and they just put it in. And you could see this wall and that wall that's around the corner. So I figured these would be good walls to paint. So the idea was to paint a young Lincoln on this one, a lawyer Lincoln on the other one, and then I, the Civil War on that last one. And I'm manifesting it. It's taken about five or six years. I'm hoping that in this experiment, to show this town the powers that be and how this procedure works, is you do a mural and the intellectual property remains the artist, of course, and there's the possibility of selling prints of the work. And I think that they'll discover that there's a lot to a mural, that can, especially a fresh mural. You know, for five, six years, it'll be a favorite, and it'll be become second nature for a while, and then it'll become uh, beloved if it lasts a while, just because it's like an old friend. When he first showed up in Springfield from New Salem, uh, and he was doing, he started doing surveying. So I'm gonna do the surveyor, which is in the woods, which I love the woods. I love, uh, you know, with the valley and the river, the Sangamon River, which I love the rivers. And uh, in the background, and you'll probably see the new old state capital, the way it used to look, in the background somewhere. Uh, it's more than just projecting up a picture of Lincoln tracing it out and throwing it up. I want to freehand this one. The style I'm using with the squares, a lot of kids have been calling it pixelization. Technically, this would be pointillism. I had never painted Lincoln until 2008, and I had been here since 1995. So, and I swore I'd never paint him, but I figured, you know, it's his birthday coming up. So I painted one, and then another, then another, then another, and I was going to limit it to 14, 15, 16. Then it was, I was going to limit it to 50 because I did some more, and then I was going to limit to 100, but I decided 111 because I, that's my lucky number. So this is Lincoln number 109. To paint up a mural that's spit an image, photograph, yeah, that can be done, but this will be more of art. This is my opportunity to shine a little bit, so I'm taking an extra time two months, you know, and we're almost a month in now. This one's a good one. It's a lot of windows, but I'm working with the windows. I'm gonna, the trees, the illusion will work. The mind's eye will, people won't even notice the windows. It could be likened to being urban camping. It's the way I like to put it. It's like I basically bring my studio to the place. And when I do that, I'm able to, uh, not have to worry about going back and forth and forgetting something. I paint at night because it's usually when you're least bothered. But I mean, I'll paint in the day as well, but I'm very much aware of what's behind me. I may not turn around it for an hour or so, but I, I can sense that something's going on. I picked expensive paint, and uh, s some of my friends are critical of that because it's, it, it cuts into the cost, you know, and what I end up getting and such as that. But it's going to last for a long time. It's mineral paint, so it allows moisture to pass through it rather than peeling off. It's basically like painting with ceramic. The Romans kind of concocted this centuries ago, and it's still, you know, you still see columns with paint on it. So it lasts a long time. There's some trepidation about investing in this project for the city because they don't want to have to take care of it later. And if you do it right, you don't have to for a long time, like picking these paints. It really is a uh, interactive art. I mean, all these people are watching me exposed, how I'm painting it, my mistakes. They're curious to see how it works and like where I'm gonna go next. If you do something um, that keeps them guessing a little bit, that's really good. So I'm going to be doing Lincoln last. This town isn't meant for murals everywhere, you know. And one thing that in this argument about if the artification, we don't want murals everywhere, there's going to be more artwork than just that. There's artwork in the sense of like this fence. But if there's an artist who was a welder, you know, and made a cool fence. 
but it doesn't necessarily have to be just murals for the artification project. It could be sculpture and all kinds of things. I always tell them if you're tired of them, just build a fake wall over them, because then they'll discover them one day, and then they'll look you up, and there's your name, the guy who hired this guy. You know, people like, you know, history is what the art is about, and being able to speak louder than your own generation.